Hey there you guys, welcome to this course, I'm Juan Fernando Rego and I'm really happy you're going to take this course with me. I assure you that you will learn a lot and you will love it. Let's begin. POS comes from the acronym Point of Sale and it is a complex system where you should develop several managers that will allow us to administrate all the system characteristics like inventory, sales, billing, clients, sellers, administrators, reports, among others. In this course, we will begin everything from scratch using PHP in its version 7, object-oriented programming, MVC model, view controller pattern, and MySQL databases so we can administrate its content. We will learn how to create an inventory manager using CRUD for this content's administration. CRUD comes from the acronym Create, Read, Update, and delete, connecting to a MySQL database through the PDO class so the connections could be completely secure. In our inventory manager, the special users and administrators could register products to the inventory, check stock quantity, edit or delete the product, make searches through filters thanks to the plugin data table, a very complete plugin used for tables with information. Also, we will develop a sales manager where the sellers and administrators could create new transactions, registering the client into the system, increasing or decreasing the product's quantity, adding taxes to the sale, and selecting the payment method the customer wants. Once the sales are registered, they could be edited or deleted by an administrator role. We also could filter them in the view table and finally have the option to print the invoice in PDF format. It is really important that you can offer to a company the option of generating reports either inside the system or that they can download the tables in Excel format so they can create graphics and statistics. We will have a section inside the system where only the administrator will be allowed to generate these reports through graphics to visualize the sales quantity made throughout the time. The same will happen with the reports that will show who are the returning clients of the company, how many purchases have done and when was the last time they visited the store. In addition, it will show what are the best-selling products and have more rotation in the store as the ones that doesn't sell out very well. And finally, the top seller who closed more sales and generated more income to the company. User roles are essential for a complex system like this. Since we can filter the access according to the position the person has inside the company, in this system we will apply three types of roles. The administrator will have access to the whole system. The special role are the users in charge of registering products and inventory. And the seller role are the users that could generate sales and feed the client's database. Finally, it is important nowadays that you can provide responsive software and systems that can be viewed and work in any kind of screen device. Because a lot of companies in order to speed up their sales experience prefer to use touch screens or tablets because of their limited spaces in the cash register besides that the system could be online and check sales reports and inventory anytime anywhere 